Hello everybody and welcome to another general vlog video. Today, since tomorrow's my birthday, I figured I might as well bake myself a cake. So I thought I'd walk you guys through the way that I'm going to do this. This is a cake that I call a drizzle down cake. I don't know why. It's something I come up with on my own. I'm sure it's a thing. I thought of it and thought I'd try it. So we're basically just going to do a regular cake mix. So let's get on down here and I'll show you what we're doing. The good part won't come in until I start frosting it. So we just got a regular cake mix. So we're going to grab a regular cake mix. And we're going to open it up. Dump it in there. And then we're going to add three eggs. One. Oh, that one I made a mess on, didn't I? <laughs> All right. Thank God I just cleaned my counters. All right. I think it's good enough. And three. Yeah, instead of cracking them on the side of the bowl, I was trying to crack them on the countertop. That didn't do too good. But, like I said, I just washed my countertop before I started filming. So, it's all clean. Alright, then we're going to add one cup of water. Now, sometimes I will substitute that with milk. But, today we're just going to use water for simplicity. And then a half a cup of vegetable oil. Which I got my vegetable oil. And we're going to go a half a cup. About right in there. Alright. Now let me get my mixer and everything out. And we'll start mixing it all up. Alright, let's get this all mixed up. And make sure that you mix it up pretty good, you know. You don't want to lump your clothes. All the ingredients can be mixed up really, really, really good. Alright, so the battery died. So anyways, you know how to mix it up with a mixer. And then you take a greased pan, only the bottom of the pan gets greased, not the edges. And you pour it in there. Let's see if I can find my spatula in here. I always rinse everything off. Alright, so you get it all out with a spatula. You want all that goodness in there. And then, of course, you got to lick the spatula. Alright, now, I take my pan afterwards, and I just kind of do like that. Oh, let's see. Um, I think it says 350. Let me get my glasses on. I know you bake it for 30 minutes. Uh, bake. Yep, 350. And I do believe that that's what we are on. All 
All right. So now we want to bake this for 30 minutes. All right. So now we'll set a timer at 30 minutes. So let's get on our phone here. Let's go to clock timer and we will do if I can find it here and not pass it 30 minutes start. So there's our 30 minute clock so I'll see you guys in 30 minutes. Alright so here it is it's already been done it's still a little bit warm but not a whole lot warm so we're going to take a straw and we're going to take it out of the pack and this is where the drip down comes in I'm basically just going to put a series of holes all in it I try to stay a little bit away from the edge Oh, I hear my alarm going off. Let me go take care of that alarm real quick. I'm not even going to pause you. Just going to take a second. Alright, I, like I said, I stay a little bit away from the edge because I don't like the edges to have a whole lot of different flavor in it. Which this will all make more sense to you here in just a second. So... I just kind of go and there, there's really no rhyme or reason what I'm doing or why I'm doing it. I try to go all the way down to the bottom of the pan and you see it starts building up in your straw. And this is just a straw that I picked up from uh, probably Subway. All right. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I was eating all of it out of the straw. All right. So here I have just regular chocolate, and I put it in the microwave for one minute, and then I'm going to. It's a little bit on the warm side, so I'm going to grab a towel here so I can hold on to it and I, I try to do this precisely but you can't and basically what I'm doing is I'm filling up all these little holes it's a little time consuming but not too bad but I don't want a lot of chocolate because that's not what I'm basing this cake this cake is not going to be a chocolate covered cake and I'll show you that here in just a minute so basically what I do is I just keep pouring it in there spinning a second over top of each one of the holes And you can see those holes drain down pretty fast. And this stuff will stay liquidy for about 10-15 minutes. Alright. So that's that. Wipe off my edges here. Put the lid back on this. And then we're going to do the same thing with the other, and I'll bring you back here in just a second. So the same thing here, you know, I'm just taking this spatula, and I'm getting off as much of the chocolate out from the edges and the corners and off the top that I can. And that's what you can see over here. You can see on that napkin. So now let's get our vanilla. 
which is what I like. And then I'm going to take and pour the vanilla on it. Basically the same way to start. Just kind of fill up those holes. Like I said, one minute in the microwave. And I don't like a lot of topping on mine, or a lot of frosting, I guess I should say. So basically what I'm trying to do is fill up the rest of the holes, which is almost impossible to do because it soaks all through the cake. Now, take and wash off my spatula so I don't have chocolate on it. And then I will take and pull from the edge back up to the top. Like I said, I don't like a lot of frosting on my cake. Because there's quite a bit of frosting down inside that cake. And basically what you're doing is, is almost like you're painting. And it, no, this is not going to be a pretty cake. This is not a cake you're going to want to take to your family get-together or your party because, quite frankly, they're, they're not really pretty cakes. Especially with all the holes in it. Now, if you don't go as deep with your holes, then, yeah, you can make this cake look pretty decent. Or if you use the frosting straight out of the can to where it's a little thicker and it goes over those holes. But you can see, as I'm doing this, I'm going to turn this around, you can see that uh, the holes are opening right back up. Well, like I said, this cake is for me, for my birthday. So, I have a certain way that I want it, and a certain way that I don't want it. And this is just the way that I like it. You can do it pretty much any way you want. Now what you can do is let this cool. And then once it cools, then you can go back over this once it cools. And put a regular thin layer on. And it'll hide all those uh, holes. So... I guess I can go ahead and show you that real quick. Alright, so basically what I did was I put this in the freezer for about five minutes. And then I'll stir it up really good. Wipe this off. And in about that five minute period, it gives you the consistency that if you want to, you can come back in here and do it. If you'll notice, those holes are disappearing now. But, that is too much frosting for me. I just wanted to show you that you could do it and frost back over top of it and make it here, actually, we'll just kind of do half of it that way, because I know the boys and they they like um, you know frosting. So we'll we'll frost half of this. All right, so you can see the holes are filling in. You can do that. So that's about what you got. But I like about like this. I don't like a whole lot of icing on my cake. This isn't too bad. 
So then you can see the holes are appearing again because I didn't have enough time. Let's get you guys up here on the situation here. I didn't have enough time to uh, let it cool down enough. But if you let it cool down to where it's regular icing again, you can ice lightly back over top of it and nobody will ever know. Anyways, so there is my birthday cake. It's exactly what I want. Uh, and if I'm doing this for somebody else, like I know my dad likes them this way. Uh, sometimes the boys like it this way. So like say if it was Ricky's birthday, I might do larger holes and only do 15 of them. Instead of putting candles, we could put holes. Anything that you want to do like that. Anyways, I hope you guys like these kind of videos. And if you do, you know what to do and all that good stuff. Hope you guys have a great day and even better tomorrow on an awesome night. We'll see you on the next video or next live stream. And please, please, please be safe. You guys have a great day.